Greetings, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Aligning with the energies of the new moon and energy of Gemini, we come together in the group circle, continuing our work, holding the space of our group through the Jerusalem meditation. The Hikal group together with the 2025 initiative welcomes you in our circle today. Over to you, Uta. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Yes. So in our Jerusalem meditation project, we work with the higher potential of Jerusalem. And this is a group experiment of working with the energies of a place. And in this sign of Gemini that uh, we are in, at the moment, it's a good opportunity to have a closer look at our relationship with the subtle world. So we will have, we will put a, a flashlight on, on this relationship. We do it by going through our work process now in slow motion before the meditation. Uh, looking at it uh, from the angle of the subtle energies. So the first thing is that um, that we place ourselves as a group, a group instrument, a subjective outpost within the subtle field of Jerusalem. That's already a subtle relationship, an awareness of a subtle relationship. And we use our finer antennas in order to intuit the higher potential of this place, of Jerusalem. So this is actually quite an intimate relationship. After years of doing this, of tuning in, we have already an idea about it. And yeah, we can give um, words to it, for example, unity and diversity, right relations, the will to love. These are these qualities that uh, come to mind. Um, so this process of formulating our intuition, what we intuitively pick up, as part of um, of bringing bringing the higher potential into outer expression. So by by this process of thinking and formulating, and also of course by the process of meditating on it in a steady rhythm, we build mental substance around around this this higher potential this this intuitive spark we create a thought form and we hold this thought form in the meetings and between the meetings so it grows and also the emotional body of the group then responds more and more and more and more rhythmically to this mental structure it, it tries to match the idea through imagining it. And this imagining produces feelings in resonance with, with the concept. So as we know, emotional energy follows along the lines of the thought construct. It clothes it into astral quality. So the group heart holds the quality of unity, of the will to love. 
course, we know all this in theory, but let us today really get a sense of what it means to actually do this. So the next step is for the group. Um, it comes down into the etheric awareness of the group. We give substance to this quality. We ground it by becoming aware etherically of it. We embody it. So we create actually etheric substance. So this mental idea of unity, let's say, and then the emotional quality of love, no matter what, they become on the etheric level a specific substance, a very fine ethereal matter. And we in the Jerusalem meditation over the years, we perceive this as a golden vibration. So by, so by going, by doing it again and again and again, we literally meditate these higher qualities into existence. And by doing this again and again and observing this creative process, we start to notice how this, our process attracts devas and activates devas who actually do this work with us. And we come to understand that we are the architects and they are the builders. And the clearer and more conscious we become in our mm, drawing the lines, so to speak, as white magicians, the more precise the devas can outpicture what we project. So we learn as a group more and more precisely to handle subtle energy, to register it, to bundle it, to collect it in our group chalice, substantiating it there, holding it at a point of tension until a ripeness is achieved. And then we release it, send it out from our group field into the wider field of the etheric body of humanity and of the planet. So through a focused, sustained will and the power of imagination and conscious embodiment, we weave ethereal magnetic threads into the fabric of the planetary etheric body. And for many of us, we get lately the sense that we are moving from the stage of doing as if to the stage of actually doing it. Yeah, so let us in meditation now weave the golden vibration coming through the Jerusalem vortex into the planetary etheric body. Breathing deeply. Getting in touch with our body 
as the receptacle and grounder of all contacted energy. Grounding ourselves well in nature, in the earth. Resting in the stillness of our heart. Bringing our mind into a focus in the center of the head. And standing as the incarnated soul, radiant. And turning our attention now towards Jerusalem. Sensing its aura. Becoming aware of an outpost of love and light and spiritual will within the aura of the city. And imagining ourselves entering this outpost and sensing its force field of dynamic harmony. like a temple out of etheric matter. Let us take our place within this temple. Sensing the group heart pulsing in it. Letting our minds come into resonance with this field of peace. Standing together as souls, as weavers in the light. Perceiving our outpost as one of many in the great network of world service. Visualizing for a moment all these many outposts. Working more and more as one in unity and coherence.
opening our awareness to our higher co-workers in the ashramic world. and tuning specifically as a group to the ashramic co-workers and to the devas who support and guide this Jerusalem project. Let us sense their subtle presence with us. And in their aura, let us open our consciousness now to the divine idea or the divine blueprint of Jerusalem. Using our finest antennas now to intuit, taking a couple of minutes for it. Letting now our group heart respond 
to Jerusalem's divine blueprint or higher potential. Pick up this higher quality, this higher vibration. And sensing now etherically the potent energy flowing through the vortex of Jerusalem and standing in this golden vibration which heals cleavages and makes whole. Let us now collect this golden substance into our group field, our group chalice. And with our united will to love, let us hold this substance at the point of tension for it to gel and ripen. And now 
by an act of slow concentration and will, we release the golden vibration into the aura of Jerusalem. See it streaming forth in geometric order. See angelic beings, golden devas, substantiate this high vibration, weaving it into the aura of Jerusalem. Seeing this weaving taking place. See the trees in the city absorb it and ground it into the earth. See the light in the heavens meet with the light in the earth. As above, so below. See the aura of Jerusalem glow with warm golden light. Visualize the hearts of the citizens respond to the light, slowly swinging into this higher order, which is grounded in the sacredness of each person and the oneness of humanity. Imagine Jerusalem sounding the note of oneness. The souls of all are one and I am one with them. I seek to love, not hate. I seek to serve and not exact due service. I seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love.
Let us see a golden unifying wave spread out from Jerusalem into Israel, Palestine. And spreading out further into the entire Middle East, into all these Middle Eastern countries. Streaming into Asia, see a thread of light connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. See the unifying wave pour through the whole of Asia, linking into Tokyo. spreading to Australia and Oceania and over the ocean to America, linking in with New York and then further to Europe, linking with a golden thread into London, into Geneva, spreading out into Africa, and spreading all over the world and back to Jerusalem. Let us continue visualizing this unifying wave flowing over the earth as we recite the great invocation in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. In סרום האור אל דעת האדם. יורד האור על פני האדם. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, סרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש. שב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם, תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, שם תוכנית האהבה והאור, ונחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון ומחדשים אור, אהבה ועוצמה את התוכנית על פני האדמה. كتبودا الغاية إرادة الناس بسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها 
Medel Barkas, Dagi Nadon, the Jets and Barshari, the Enter at the Sweet and Hope, Wayakhtim Alba, Allah, you keep me in the Shah. Jet the Moon, but Hope, but Tua, and the Sweet and Hope. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Thank you, friends. If you would like to share any impressions from the meditation, please go ahead. Hi, this is Efrat from Jerusalem. Thank you, Uta, for this beautiful medita meditation, and thank you all. I think me and maybe Helen, you will agree with me, and we have kind of special or different experience because we are here in Jerusalem. And Uta, when you say, okay, let's bring ourselves to Jerusalem, let's get close to the hour of Jerusalem, we are here. Um, 
from the several time I um, was doing the Jerusalem meditation from abroad, I could feel the difference. Uh, but now I don't know, uh, I don't want to go too much into um, political situation and actualization, but uh, yesterday it was the celebration day of Jerusalem, uh, which became a very conflict day between uh, mostly religious people, very militant, uh, and, and the Arab population and other people. I am bringing it because the atmosphere, although I was not in the center of the, those places, but we could feel it, uh, the, the atmosphere and the energy was very tense, very dense, very heavy. So during this meditation, I really could feel that there is the high energy, the higher Jerusalem, and really like underground Jerusalem, underground, the deep down in the earth, and in the middle, there is the current city, the current situation, which is like a block between those two golden light. A strange experience, not so pleasant. Using the golden light and trying to connect these both sources of light and sell, sending the golden light all over the globe made some relief. So this is my experience from from here. Thank you. Thanks, Efrat, for giving us a view of the ground right now in Jerusalem. Hope this is Helen, also from Jerusalem. I would like also to confirm that Efrat is expressing. Um, and together with all of this, because of the work that we're doing for such a long time, rhythmically every week, I've been so much more open now to the subtle energies. I felt our outpost both the core group and both the wider group as really a temple. And I entered this temple. It was made of a tangible substance. Interesting mental tangible substance. Feeling astral tangible substance. And by embodying it, created like a kind of uh, um, beautiful, almost transparent gel of substance of doable things, we are doing it, and we have uh, we have our partners. I felt them so very close, and um, working together. I must say that the more the situation is burning here locally, I can feel this this partnership. And thank you to all of you.
Thank you, Uta, for that beautiful meditation. I sensed very strongly that we are really becoming a more unified group with, with greater and greater influence, which made the meditation as a group almost not easy, but I could flow into it. We could flow into the intention in, in I guess, a stronger way, but it, it was almost as if there was a path that was becoming more well-tread by us. And, and that said, I, I basically today envision Jerusalem in a personified way as a divinely pregnant mother, holding all the potential of purity and the highest aspect of love, a love that I don't think we even really know, but the intention of that highest aspect that she holds internally as a light of creation. And that light is very attractive to the David kingdom, hmm. as is that unconditional maternal love that is being radiated from that space and really causes the David kingdom to pay attention. And there was a, a little note in my head that said that they come as midwives, which I loved that image of the David hmm. kingdom coming midwives and and then it was almost as if Jerusalem the city of God the city of God which is also sort of what I think of when I think of Shambhala that it's almost a rebirthing of this city of God and Shambhala which basically holds the will of God and that will is right relationship and unity and love and the interconnectedness of all kingdoms, all of those kingdoms that are illuminated and attended to by the David kingdom. And the geometric image that came actually was interesting. It was a multifaceted crystal that buried itself deeply underneath Jerusalem and immediately began to radiate golden light to, through, <laughs> through the earth to the other side of the earth and became just this glowing, radiating vehicle. And, and finally, it, it was pulsing this golden light and, and spreading this golden light. And again, there was this sense that it is pulsating, pulse, pulsing a love wisdom that we, and we being all kingdoms, plants, animals, minerals, birds, fishes, everything, everything that is alive, that there is no separation, that we are not separated, but we are connected as one great kingdom. And that is the great kingdom that the David kingdom aligns in its totality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a sense that uh, the Devi Kingdom is is really waiting for us humans to finally get our thoughts together and stand there and hold this space, so they can finally start to outpicture this this oneness. Thanks, Andrea. This is Mark in Sarasota. Can you hear me? Hi, Mark. Yes. Oh, good. So in Sarasota, Florida, in the United States, we have Memorial Day today, remembering the veterans still standing, those who have fallen. Quite a beautiful parade and ceremony. 
and I bring this for a reason because the energy is, uh, it, I believe that it, it complies with a flat uh, sharing of the challenges and also the possibilities in Uda's last statement of uh, the human kingdom finally understanding what we must do, if I can sort of quote it a little bit differently. Say, the meditation is beautiful, be beautiful uh, composition, very esoterically correct and beautiful and heart moving. And this is what I, I get, and it's challenging. But I, I believe that there's truth in this. I, I receive it like in meditation. And that is, if the masses were speaking, they would, I believe they, they give us an impression that we will likely be facing unusual paradigm changing events soon. We're going to be called into action in a different way. And there are many groups now studying the ultra terrestrials, the discovery of life in other planets, even in our, in our uh, Congress, they're discussing this and it's gonna cause a big shakeup. It has to, and the shakeup has to come sometime. So may as well come now. So the, the, the suggestion is that human beings double your labors of peacemaking and freedom, double them. I'm not saying this should be done twice a month, but maybe take a look. What is that? Does it mean recording this and then people listening to it two or three times a week? I don't know exactly what it means, but it says double your labels. It, to me, it's, it is like giving birth. We are in the in that crowning stage. And I saw also that underneath the Knesset, in a sense, like uh, someone mentioned, uh, like a beautiful jewel. Um, there needs to be an outpost there to change the Knesset frequency and the composition, the, the consciousness of our of our leadership. It's really needing change. It's just so I won't go elaborate. Um, and then more celebration. There's joy also that brings this this transformation. So more of the joy of the Mekodeshet, the which, which is the celebration of the different musical uh, co uh, compositions of the Jewish, Christian, Muslim uh, music and, and bring the joy, the frequency of joy into the, into the region. And then also more interfaith prayer groups. So these are images that could manifest and I'm talking about mainly things on the ground. How that will happen, I don't know but that's what I received. Thank you all. Greetings, dear friends. This is Margot from Canada calling in today from Texas in the United States. Grateful to hear the description of our service so clearly and precisely artic articulated and focalized. Experienced a nascent sound of harmony in the initial field. In the containment of the temple, the frequency of peace strengthened. Outposts seemed to come more into coherence. There was a new awareness for me today of the Davic kingdom. It was brighter, qualifying. A gathering and more intensifying substance as if the devas were gathering in greater numbers as the group focus became more precise. It was as if a shape was just beginning to form, almost like the idea of a sound or shape. 
and beings coalescing around this. As this poured into Jerusalem, it was like water filling each nook and cranny. The geometric order seemed to attract Davic substance, which poured through in and around the geometric solids. Peace that passeth understanding, grounding through the trees and each citizen blossoming in their own way. The golden tones of one life reverberate, sparkling around the world, co-creating the new era. Yeah, I match this uh, impression, Margot. Um, as we, as as groups, focus more on the devas, they they come in greater numbers. It's really they wait for us to to give the sign that now we can work. It's uh, Katya Kaufman from New York, and uh, it is um, it was very different today the energies and um, it's interesting since I spent some time in Jerusalem I I I, I see that the resonance with the city stays strong and uh, so one of the first impressions that came was was the presence of the teacher and then the law that uh, perfection brings imperfection to the surface and it comes wave after wave after the wave after the wave and that golden light um, transforms it clears it and uh, but yet there are some substances that are not easily transformed and um, Today I saw this golden wave of light and this golden light as um, different elements for different parts of the world. And in Jerusalem it came as a as a drops of water that somehow uh, trying to penetrate, not trying to penetrate, that are penetrating the mineral substances and um, bringing life to the trees and to the plants and slowly very slowly yet transforming the mineral component of the people of the matter of the space of the nation and um, in uh, different parts of the world, it was the uh, air presence, this air that's so much needed, and uh, the light. And uh, today, when, uh, when Helen was reading the Arabic, it was um, it, it, it's as if she was creating it in the air with the as this written form of those words this arabic you know i don't know how you know, we know like in russian there's a word for that yes this um mm -hmm. intricate weaving of the of the letters with the this very subtle light very subtle and that's uh it was 
I don't know. It was it was also very special, and the thread was sounding it in the uh, in the golden resonance, like pretty dense. And uh, from us, it came as a, as a as a <laughs> air dispensation, like as if there's a strong wind blowing through the center of New York, connecting. No, uh, Jerusalem. Thank you. Yeah, Katya, very well expressed. Uh, the, the, the three great invocations, I had the same impression of the, the Hebrew holds this very substantial goldenness and the Arabic comes from behind the veil um yeah very subtle in this intricate weaving and uh, the two of you bringing this um, making it blowing it out with a strong wind was quite meaningful for me in my experience thank you We are still so much pioneers yet when it comes to conscious cooperation with the devas. But uh, when we show up and uh, say, okay, this is the time now, let's start experimenting, then can already feel like Margot, like you also said, you know, we are just touching upon it, putting our energy into it, and then something is happening and we will pick it up. We will, we will learn more. It will reveal itself to us more and more. Okay, it seems we are complete. Or is there anyone else who would like to add something? Daniela here speaking from Brussels. Just a, just a, a thought that um, I would like to add to so beautifully described energies that everybody uh, felt. There was, uh, to my mind, I, I saw Devas um, carrying the, the golden energy away from Jerusalem and into other places on earth. And um, a thought came that I don't know if that would be possible or even uh, feasible to do such a meditation for other places on earth, such as the border between NATO and Russia right now. Mm -hmm. In great need we are <laughs> of, um, mm -hmm. of, um, as you say, um, 
who tell, devas are waiting for us to ask for their participation in what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Mm, I completely Thank agree, Daniela. Thanks. Thank you for a beautiful meditation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we are complete. So blessings to all. Until next time, next new moon. And uh, Sasha, over to you if there are any uh, announcements. Thank you, Uta. I just reposted a comment from Tunji from Australia. Much gratitude for the beautiful work done. Well, deeply connected. Mm. Thank you. So we continue holding the energy of the Vesak as we stand now in the middle point between two great festivals. Vesak festival and the festival of the goodwill at the June uh, full moon. And uh, we as a part of the great uh, world service group are uh, called to be together with the hierarchy and the Christ holding this tension of this energy that came to earth as it happens every year. So let us be vigilant about that, this opportunity and responsibility. And we continue our work. Um, tomorrow there will be a new moon webinar for the meditation for the common good. In this cycle of Gemini, the focus is uh, from crisis to brotherhood, birthing the Christ within. So we invite you to join us tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT to share and meditate, magnetizing thought forms of solution. How can we as humanity can manifest the brotherhood that we know on the inner plane? Much, much love to all of you. Bye bye, friends. Hi, thank you. Thank you, Shalom. Goodbye, everyone.